guys, we're going to math person. Today I'll be going over question 225 on SY exam P. So pause the video quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, that's me. You're attempted. Let's just dive right in. So they do give you the, probab the joint probability function to be this, but this is only true when x is less than or equal to y. So this means the options are pretty limited, right? So we can have 0, 0, we can have 0, 1, all the way to y holds values up to 3. So we can go up to 3. But if x is 1, we can't have 1, 0 because 1 is not less than 0. So we can't have this. We can, however, have 1, 1, 1, 2, and 1, 3. And we can't have 2, 0. We also can't have 2, 1. We can have 2, 2, and 2, 3. And lastly, we can't have 3, 0, 3, 1, or 3, 2. However, we can have 3, 3. So that gives us these options total. And we know all probability has to add up, add up to 1. So we can just find the probability for all these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of those probabilities and add them up. So for 0, 0, the probability is I plug in 0 for this right here. So this is equal to just 0. For 0, 1, the probability is C times 2. For 0, 2, it is C times 4. For 0, 3, it will be C times 6. Keep going, keep going. 1, 1, it will be C times 3. For 1, 2, it's going to be C times 5. 1, 3, I'm going to right here, 1, 3, it's going to be C times 7. For 2, 2, that will be C times 6, right? For 2, 3, when I plug it in there, that is C times 8. And lastly, 3, 3, that's 3 times 2, 6 plus 3, which is 9. So that's all we have. So when we, all, when we add all these numbers together, add them together, this should add up to 1. We can actually factor the C out and just add up the co add up the numbers. 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 6 plus 8 plus 9. Oh my gosh, I just did that in one breath. <laughs> when you add those two together, you get 50. So that's saying C50 is equal to 1. So we know C is equal to 1 over 50. And what, what's the, what are they asking for? And we're asking for... Calculate the expected number of tornadoes that results in fewer than 80, 50 million losses. So if x is the number after 50, right? This is which is also x. And this is y is the total number of total variables, so this is the upper limit. So if they're asking for this part right here, 50 million, which is this part, less than 50 million, we can actually do y, which is this total thing, minus the over 50 million this part and we'll get our box that we're looking for this is so this is technically find expected value of y minus x so then we can take these 10 digits right here and if these these are the probabilities the actual probability with the 50 in it is going to be 2 over 50 this is going to be 4 over 50 because we're just multiplying the c in here 6 over 50 and so on and so on and we're looking for when the expectation of y minus x. So what is the value of y minus x? I'll add it right here. So the y minus x for this one will be 1 minus 0, which is 1. 2 minus 0, which is 2. 3 minus 0, which is 3. 1 minus 1, which is 0. 2 minus 1, which is 1. I'll add the y minus x column here. 3 minus 1 is 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. 3 minus 2 is 1. And 3 minus 3 is 0. So we know that expectation, as always, is the value we're looking for times its probability. So when we sum it up, it, the first one's gonna be one times 250, which is just two over 50. The second one is two, that's the value, that's the actual value, two times four over 50. The third one is three times six over 50. Um, this one is gonna be just zero, because anything times zero is just zero. Next one is five over 50. 
Moving on to the second column here. This is 2 times 7 over 50 plus this one's going to be 0 too because anything times 0 is 0. 8 over 50 here. And the last one is also 0. So when we add that up, what do we get? I can actually factor out the 50 again and then just add up 2 plus 8 plus 18 plus 5 plus 14 plus 8. So that's going to be equal to 55 over 50 which is equal to 1.1, which is our answer E. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!